All right, guys, the next big project we're gonna be tackling is actually more a series of little projects. We're gonna be finishing the galley renovation. I know last summer, if you guys remember, we spent a lot of time at Just Cats in Florida. Uh, we ripped out our old galley, we installed new countertops, we installed the sink, we installed um, all the storage underneath and the lamination, and we installed a new fridge slash freezer underneath our companionway steps. We've gotten a ton of questions from you guys about our old Kecko cooler and if we liked it and why we switched to a Dometic fridge. Basically, we thought we liked it. It did work as advertised. Um, it dropped sea water by about 25 degrees Celsius. The only problem was in the Caribbean, uh, that wasn't quite enough. It continuously drew about 40 watts non-stop, like it never shut off. And it would only drop our fridge to about five to seven degrees Celsius, which isn't quite cold enough to run a fridge. Like chicken would only last a day or two, milk maybe three or four. So when we finally installed the new fridge freezer from Dometic, we thought we were gonna be running it as a freezer, but it turns out that it was so efficient that we switched and decided to run it as a fridge and just shut the Kecko cooler off entirely. The Dometic fridge still draws about 40 watts, except it's only running for maybe 15 to 20 minutes out of every hour, and that was in the Bahamas. So overall, it consumes about 60% less power. So we saw that as a pretty big thumbs up. And now that we're back to finishing renovating our galley, we went ahead and got a condenser and evaporator from Dometic so we can turn our old icebox that we built when we were in the Dominican Republic into an actual dedicated freezer. Now this new freezer also draws about 40 watts, but again, depending on how much insulation you have, the temperature you have it set at, and the ambient temperature, um, it depends on how often the compressor is going to be on. And this particular unit you can either use uh, with air or you can actually water cool it. So where we're going in the next year or two, the air is going to be plenty cool enough that we can run it with air. But if we ever make it back into tropical waters, we can actually run the water through it uh, and it will run much more efficiently. That plus our icebox is actually really well insulated. We've got 100 millimeters or about four inches of insulation on each side and then 50 millimeters or about two inches of insulation on the top. So we know it's well insulated, it's well sealed, uh, and we're expecting it to work pretty well. Now we'll be running a full freezer and a full fridge, and combined they'll draw less power than the old Kecko cooler drew, um, and it barely qualified as a fridge. So that's a pretty big bonus for us. The install of the new freezer was actually pretty straightforward. It came with really, really good instructions. Um, the whole thing was pre-charged with refrigerant and had self-sealing connectors. So all we needed to do was install the evaporator plate in the ice box, run the coolant lines through to where the compressor was, um, coil them up nicely. connect them to the compressor, and then plug that into a 12 volt power supply. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then we went ahead and installed the actual display where we can program all the different temperatures and control the whole unit. And that thing is also pre-wired and plugs in directly to the condenser. The display and the whole unit comes pre-programmed from the factory to work with the evaporator that you choose. And after running it for a little while, we found that the factory settings worked just fine. So we actually didn't need to program anything. Um, right now it's set to turn on until the freezer reaches about minus 10 degrees Celsius and then turn off. And then it slowly warms up until it gets to about minus six and the compressor kicks back on and brings it back down to minus 10. So with those settings and with our insulation and with the ambient air temperature around between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius, the whole thing turns on for about 15 minutes and then off for about 15 or 20 minutes. 
So it's really only running 50% of the time. And then our fridge is running maybe 30% of the time. So overall, we're using much less power than we were with the Kecko and we have a full freezer and a refrigerator that cools much, much better. The whole process only took a couple of hours and it was really, really straightforward, super easy, no issues at all. The only thing left to do with the freezer was to install a piano hinge along the back to make sure the lid didn't fall off while we were opening and closing it. And we also used the remaining of that piano hinge to secure the lid to Hefty Susan. along with um, a bit of like a spring to keep the lid open so that it doesn't like slam shut while we're rummaging around in there for snacks. And uh, now we're up and running. With all the power that we saved by removing the Kecko cooler, we actually went ahead and decided to buy a microwave. I know that might seem kind of crazy, but our inverter is rated for 1200 watts continuous. So we found a microwave that's only rated for 950 watts, assuming that it was probably going to consume a little bit more power uh, from the inverter. Uh, and it turns out it actually draws quite a bit more. It draws 1800 watts on full power. But the good part about this particular microwave is that when you change the power settings, it actually draws less and less power which kind of makes sense but some microwaves don't work that way so we only run it up to power setting about eight and that draws 1300 watts and our inverter is pretty happy with that uh, i'll leave a link in the description below because it works pretty well on a boat and the best part is since microwaves are super efficient at heating things up we don't really use it very long uh, maybe a minute or two maybe five minutes to defrost something from the freezer so overall it actually consumes not a whole lot of power now underneath the microwave, we went ahead and installed our alcohol stove into sort of a drawer that we built so we can slide out over top of the freezer. Uh, this allows the stove to be stowed away when we're not using it and access to the freezer. And when we are using the stove, we can just pop the pins out, slide it forward, it locks into place, and the whole thing gimbals very, very smoothly. The gimbal kit that originally comes from the factory, we found to not be so good. So we modified it a little bit and added some pillow block bearings on the side and also added another maybe five or six pounds of lead on the bottom. So the whole thing moves really, really smoothly. The only thing left, I think we wanna find some sort of roller door that's gonna slide down over top of the microwave and stove just to keep everything hidden while we're not using it. We added a couple more latches, did a little bit more trim work, but overall, that's about it guys. The galley's pretty much done now and it looks really, really good. Well, cool. Somewhere in here a lot. Uh, our friend Terry kidnapped us today. He stole us away from our boat work and uh, yeah. he's taking us on a sunset sail. We are sailing on a hundred foot schooner today called the American Rover. It'll be fun. Watch your head. Ooh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa, it's roomy. I know you guys. Uh -oh. You don't know me. John, I do now. Yeah. Good evening once again and welcome aboard the American Rogue. Start heading outbound. Hopefully we'll pick up a little wind as we uh, head out the Elizabeth River on out to Hampton Roads Harbor. Hope you enjoy the cruise.
So between Town Point and Port of Bud Club, we got a lot of volunteers that do this every year and make it happen. And uh, some of the, there's some folks that sail on some of the schooners, some of them have schooners. Yeah. <laughs> it's official now. <laughs> so Terry is very camera shy. How yes. about that? Well, cheers to not being the captain. <laughs> cheers. For the night. Cheers. Thanks for bringing us here. You're very welcome.